Hi, in this problem, we have to write this as a function of x alone. So we have the cosine of 3 pi over 2 plus x. So to do this, we're going to use an identity, the sum identity for the cosine function. I'm going to go ahead and write that one down. So call the cosine of, and instead of x, I'm going to use a different letter. I'm going to use a and b, the cosine of a plus b. I'm doing that because we have an x here already. So this is equal to cosine cosine. So it's cosine a, cosine b. And then you switch the sign. So minus sine a, sine b. Okay, so you just basically uh, switch the sign. So for cosine, you write it twice, switch the sign, then write sine twice. If you put a minus here, basically the only thing that happens is you just switch the sign. So if I put a minus here, then this becomes a plus. Okay, so, so if this was a minus, then this is a plus. So really, really uh, not too difficult. Okay, so in our problem here, a is 3 pi over 2, and b is our x. So let's go ahead and write it down over here. So we have the cosine of 3 pi over 2, plus x, and that's equal to, so let's see, it would be cosine of 3 pi over 2, and then here we have cosine x minus, then we have sine 3 pi over 2, and then here we have sine x. Basically, just using matching, right, there's your a, there's your B, there's your A, there's your B. Okay, so to figure out the cosine of 3 pi over 2 and the sine of 3 pi over 2, let's think about the unit circles. I'm going to draw a little picture over here. This is the unit circle, and 3 pi over 2 is down over here. And on the unit circle, every ordered pair has a very special form. It can be written as parentheses cosine theta, comma sine theta. So on the unit circle, the x-coordinate of every point is the cosine of the angle there, and the y-coordinate of every point is the sine of the angle. So in our case, our angle is 3 pi over 2, so we want to figure out what this point is. So since it's the unit circle, it's basically a circle centered at the origin of radius 1. So this point is going to be 0, comma, negative 1, because you're traveling a distance of 0 along the x-axis, and a distance of 1 uh, along the y-axis. So you're going down by 1, and so the y-coordinate is negative 1. So this means that cosine of 3 pi over 2, well, the x-coordinate is 0. So this is 0 times the cosine of x minus, and then sine of 3 pi over 2, well, that's the y-coordinate at 3 pi over 2. That's negative 1, and then we have the sine of x. This is equal to well, this is going to be 0 plus sine x, right? Negative and negative is positive. So then this is equal to the sine of x. So we've written it as a function of x alone, right? which, is, which is what the directions were. Pretty cool. So this is actually equal to sine x. Pretty cool. Good luck.